Hi guys, Nick here and this is Nick Creation Channel. So for today, we have a very interesting topic. So this first person shooting game, Undead Blocks, can be potentially one of the best crypto games this 2022. So they are coming out with a lot of approach in order to achieve sustainable reward system. Their games already created with fun gameplay and high quality graphics. And you will be able to use your PlayStation and Xbox controllers in playing this game solo or with your friends sound interesting right if you want to know more about this game please continue watching all right guys so today let's go to undeadblocks.com so here we can see that it is the world's first multiplayer kill to earn zombie survival game on the ethereum network so just to give a highlight same with what i've shown in our previous scene so their listing of token will be on may 4 and later on we will discuss why we should get their undead tokens okay guys so before we go to their game deck and white paper let's go through the website so here you will have to defend yourself against hordes of zombies using special weapon nfts and you can earn their reward tokens which is zbux for each kill so they will have like two types of zbux tokens here that we will be discussing later so you will be able to upgrade your weapon nfts and you can also play with your friends survive with them so having the game experience the nostalgic one about first shooter game with the zombies so you can play with them with the endless waves of undead zombies or even play with the random players so here you can see that you can also use your xbox and playstation controllers while playing this on your pc or mac so in the future you can also do staking so this is interesting we will talk more about it later where if you're gonna stake undead tokens here you can be rewarded with minting of another weapon nfts and their in-game token rewards so here you can see that they are all docs actually i've been in touch with their executive director i'm speaking with them through the link in so they are really serious in building this game they have invested a lot of time and efforts and money in building the game before releasing it to the public so take note guys that this project is in collaboration of the wagyu studio and the uh, kevru games so we will be checking more information about it later so they have dual token system so starting from the undead so this will be used as the governance token and token to purchase weapon nfts in the game and then the cbux so this will be the reward currency that you can use to upgrade weapon nfts and purchase perks in game here you can see that the total supply of their tokens is 500 million undead tokens and here are the distribution all right so let's wait for the open beta where we can already download the application to play the game and if you want to know more about this project so here on their website you can get their telegram twitter discord medium links to know more about them so guys before we move to the pitch deck so you can go under my weapons and when you click the open c you can see that the floor price is currently at 0 0.166 if and you can already buy some of their weapons here also in the future they will have a renting system where the arms or weapon dealers will be able to rent out their nfts but of course right now it's still coming soon so we'll be waiting for that this quarter three of course if you've secured your nfts and if you connect your wallet you'll be able to see it here all right so when it comes to the features maybe we can quickly watch their videos here so we can see the quality of their graphics here and the gameplay right and also we can play some of the actual videos where they are playing the game so guys here we can see that with the use of the xbox controller you'll be able to play the game as well based on your preference right so let's go through their pitch deck we can see all of the features from buying weapons 
upgrading the weapons and then playing with your friends using the perks in order to get special abilities for your characters and then survive as long as you can so they will have this like speedrun game mode and then the change survivor skin which will allow the players to customize the characters and which can also bring some income from the celebrities or other external factors that can help in the sustainability of the economy or guys here we can see the king of the hill which will allow the players to go head to head against each other in a free for all mode and the last survivor standing wins will get the most of the song box reward pool or the CBUX tokens. All right, so you can also play with your friends as mentioned earlier. And what good with this is you can also play with random players and they will have this feature of voice chat in order to strategize with your friends or the people that you're playing with. So if you have an account here, of course, you will have your weapon loadout NFTs. So you will use this to play the game or you can use this NFTs for renting out and allowing your scholars to play the game and earn together to make the game competitive and allow the people to appreciate the game so they will have the feature about upgrading your weapons to increase the damage fire rate and accuracy in the undead armory so every upgrade will have a unique skin painted specifically for the upgraded weapon which you can see here in the picture also there will be perk nfts that you can buy within the game which have different purposes so for example the first one is the diet sprint so this is like sprite right so you can run faster and attain more stamina when running around the map and then the doctor helper revive your comrades twice as fast when they need help the most and then reload root beer so reload your weapons faster than you can say omg zombie and then the last one is the macho do or like mountain juice so take twice as many damage points from zombies before being taken down so this is just another mechanism within the game to make it more competitive but at the same time to have more utilities within the game and here are the backers so animoca brands believes that it can be developed as the choice for the first person shooter gamers and then as per double peak they're thinking that this is exciting as this will be the next gen play to earn game that combines the highly popular FPS genre into the world. Also, Gen Black Capital believes that this can be an instrument for large scale adoption from crypto and non crypto players. While XNet Network mentioned that this may be the next Axie Infinity of first person shooters with its top notch design and fun gameplay what do you think about that comment guys so share your thoughts in the comment section guys what is interesting here is their ZBUX token is planned to be a stable coin within the game so it will be at 0 0.10 US dollars or around 5 pesos so there will be two types of CBUX tokens here that I think we will go through later in the white paper. So first one is the standard one. So you will use it to upgrade your NFTs or weapons. And the second one is the gold CBUX token, which you can earn from the daily survival match and if you will be part of the leaderboard so you can get that as part of your reward this gold CBUX token will be out of the chain and the dev team will have more influence on how they can make the reward more sustainable for their users so here you can see the ecosystem so starting from the undead blocks so you will be able to withdraw or deposit the CBUX token and then through the CBUX tokens you can upgrade your NFT and at the same time if you play the game you'll be able to earn CBUX tokens as well and if you want to buy NFTs you'll be using the undead tokens which will be the governance token of the game right now they have created their maps so the first one is the neighborhood and then there are more maps in the future I believe they will be coming up with a store building or a mall where they'll be able to use it for ads campaign in order to earn from external sources that they can also use as part of treasury and influence the sustainability of the reward pool and the game and i think it will be called wagyu wonderland but later we will check that through their white paper so here 
here's just an example of one of their characters so lucas and the others are here as well some other characters are still yet to be unlocked so we'll be waiting for them in the future and here is the management team so grant king Isaac, Anthony, and Michael, they are fully doxxed and you can check their profiles through their LinkedIn account. Here you can see their partners, so Kevru Games, so the UI UX designer, Ekaterina, other artists, so Ivan, Stefan, and designer Petro, and Ivan L. So they will be working together with the Wagyu Studio. So they are experienced for some games which include Fortnite by Epic Games and Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. Alright, so these are just the high level information. Now let's go to their white paper. Here they are trying to flip the current model on its head by incentivizing players to build equity on their weapons by improving their assets with a standard CBUX token while also earning gold save UX token which will be a stable coin or in-game currency that will not lose value so that's interesting because because they will be able to unleash competitiveness of their gamers and at the same time they will be rewarded with stable coins depending on their performance so here in this game you can also have passive income opportunities and this is through their arms dealer program they are calling it like this as scholarship systems or renting systems are becoming popular in the play to earn games so here you'll be able to rent out your nfts or weapons to the scholars who want to play the game so as mentioned they will have the stable in-game reward currency and this will be through this leaderboard so for example if you will be part of the first to 4000 places of the leaderboard then the minimum that you can get is three dollars or 150 pesos but actually this is subject to change it depends on the number of players the economy and the success of the game itself here they are also adding utility for their governance token so you can see here that you can participate to the stake to mint program i think this will be available this may port so you'll be able to stake your undead tokens and immediately receive a weapon load out so it means that you can mint your weapons upon staking the minimum amount and you will be able to play the game this is aside from the voting rights and the access to exclusive in-game items all right guys so for the game modes of this so, so there will be solo so you will survive as many waves as possible on your own so squads so you can play with your friends with a party size of two to four players and work together to kill zombies and the third one is a speed run so players will have to complete a set of number of waves as fast as they can of course this doesn't end with this three modes so they're saying that they will be developing more as they continue to build the game so for the expansion so we, we're just confirming that first they're building more and more maps and that's the wagyu wonderland which will be there second map that will happen in a shopping mall and they will be able to license out storefronts to crypto centric companies to generate ad revenue and inject additional reward liquidity into their ecosystem so basically they will find a way to generate more income within the game from external sources that will help them to sustain the game and the reward system right so they are eyeing that thousands of individuals will be watching the players of undead blocks on twitch facebook gaming and other platforms which means that other brands will look into investing in their game also there will be weapon skins that there will be no impact on the abilities of the weapons so what they're going to do here is to partner with the crypto companies artists and charities to give gamers around the world the avenue to create skins that truly identify with who they are as people so take note guys so in order to purchase the skins you will be using the gold cbux and it only means that this can be high margin lever for the project and can provide an influx of liquidity from outside the gaming ecosystem all right guys so what we can emphasize here is the block box testing where they have enlisted a member of the casualty actuarial society with a decade of analytical experience pricing multi-billion dollar economies of similar logistics 
So they were able to validate their design to ensure that they will come up with as sustainable as possible economy within their game. We can also see here that an off-chain gasless reward token emphasizes efficiency. So the gold save UX will be off-chain and the undead blocks team will be able to inject even more funding into the daily reward payouts with all of the sources that we mentioned earlier. Actually, they have mentioned here a massive reward fund backing the in-game stable reward payouts keep security in the economy. So just to reiterate again, if you feel convinced and if you are excited for this game, so guys, they will have their launching on May 4th of Undead Token. So it will be in Uniswap. So we need to join their social media accounts. So I will share them in the description below so that you can follow their Twitter, you can join their Discord server, telegram community and wait for the official contract address of their token remember that if you will buy this undead tokens you'll be able to stake that you can get weapon nfts as well they have offered discounted nfts because of our community what are the milestones that are waiting so for the quarter 2 2022 so we mentioned about the token launch and then the stake to mint will be the same date and then Phase 2 beta bootcamp, so NFT holders beta access, so will be happening this quarter. And then they will have a speed run competition where $25,000 is at stake. Public beta access will happen as well this quarter too. And the full game launch on PC and Mac will be third quarter. And you can also start earning this third quarter with the standard and gold CBUX tokens. Marketplace will be available. The second gameplay map will go live this will be strategic for them as well to generate some fun from external sources as well and then the rental portal launch so this is like the scholarship system that they have and then the quarter four will be about limited weapon nfts additional maps and having the decentralized autonomous organization voting and governance finalized and next year they are targeting to have 50,000 daily active players and thinking about distributing 100 million cumulative gold save ux tokens by then right so here you can check all their social links so i will put that on the description below and then you can also contact them for general inquiries marketing proposals and partnership proposals so guys this concludes our review on undead blocks and if you feel that this is really exciting for you so once again i'm inviting you to join their discord server telegram community and then same with what i always tell you guys so invest what you can afford to lose always do your own research make your own decision and make sure that you like where you are investing in terms of the play to earn games because what is important is not just investing but also having fun with the games that you are part of if you like this video don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will be updated with all other new games that we are featuring in this channel thanks for watching and see you on my next video bye bye